Okay, here's an update on the Emotep Radiant Oscillator Light, and this is uh, my lunchbox. I call it the Lid Motor LB, which has all the uh, Emotep uh, Radiant Oscillator and the circuits uh, in that box. Everything is in there, and the batteries go in there too. We got the drive battery here, and the two different charging batteries that are on different circuits. And right now I have it plugged into a 500 milliamp uh, wall outlet um, transformer charge to charge up the batteries. And of course it's running the lights right now. And you take the, the charge off and of course everything keeps on going. And this runs um, about an hour, two hours um, normally. And then I cycle the batteries around and you just rotate them around and I had it pretty much running all day yesterday with that little solar panel, that little uh, 2 watt solar panel feeding it some energy. So it's a, it's a self-sustaining unit. But um, here's the, the circuit diagrams. People wanted to know what I had done and uh, what I did was I replaced the relay here with the John Bedini circuit. That circuit right there went in where the relay went and that uh, relay was a little temperamental and noisy so I put it in here but they wanted to know how I how I did it how did I wire in that circuit into there and it did not go in series like this shows it actually went in a parallel and this is uh, this is how it ended up right here this is the whole circuit for this uh, particular method of doing this this is the lid motor LB lunchbox circuit that is in that box right there. Basically what it is is it's the uh, John Bedini circuit added in to that original Emotep circuit. And you can probably freeze frame this and study it but all the information is right there and I'll walk through it real quickly here basically the trimmer switch was a big important thing that went in where that 2k pot was in the original diagram and that pot right there I'm actually using a 1k pot right now it's a wire wound with a hundred ohm resistor in series with it and to get the transistor to not burn out, I had to trial and error this to get down to a 1K pot with a 100 ohm resistor to get the brightness I wanted and the charging and all of that to work. Now up here is the rheostat, which is right there, which works with the trim. And if you don't balance these together, it doesn't work right. It doesn't go into resonance and you don't get the uh, oscillations that you want. And of course you don't get the brightness or the bulbs won't come on at all. So the dance between the trimmer and the rheostat in that circuit is important. And I recommend anybody who's building these things put in something so that you can adjust frequencies and the oscillations to get the bulb to light. As, um, it'll light maybe sometimes, sometimes it won't. So that's, that's an important thing. Also, this is Mark Hale's bulb that he used instead of the rheostat and that actually does work. If you eliminate the rheostat and just put the bulb in there, you can get this to work. It's just a tail light bulb, a 12 volt 12 -volt tail light bulb used in the US on most cars. It has two filaments in it, a brake light and a turn signal. And I wired this in in such a way that you can add in one or the other filaments and that gives you a different resistance rating in series with the pot. So it allows you another variant and that voltage coming off of the drive battery to vary the circuit. Now the other thing that I did, and I'm still working on it, is I left both charge circuits intact. There's a charge circuit on the Bedini side and a charge circuit on the Emotep radiant oscillator side. And I did testing yesterday to see how these charged up and which was better. And so far they're close. It's a, it's, a, it's a horse race and I'm going to do more testing today using a capacitor and timing the time it takes the capacitor to charge up at a fixed voltage coming in. 
I used the power supply yesterday and used the rheostat to check it at 11, 12, and 14 volts on a charging capacitor and it came out about the same. So anyway, there's more testing to be done on that. Now the latest thing that people are working on is combining the coil on the Bedini circuit with the coils on the oscillator circuit and that's probably the way this is going to end up as putting everything here together in one circuit, one coiled circuit so that the Bedini oscillator circuit is incorporated with the light driving circuit so it's all one unit but remember you got to keep this simple so that the people that are replicating this can actually do this and I keep going back to that original Emotip radiant oscillator light where they just had the one coil and a relay and uh, you know a capacitor and a resistor and it was simple and you, you got to remember that the KISS principle keep it simple stupid if you're going to get people to build this thing, you've got to keep this a simple design. So anyway, that's the Emotip Radian Oscillator and my version, the uh, LB version, the lunchbox, and where it stands as of today.